Okay, look, I don't know no easy way to say this, and I know I joke a lot, but ain't nothing funny today. All right, so boom. The other day, January 1st, it was a whole lot of police cars at Bayside, right around the corner, Biscayne Bay Boulevard, y'all all know where it's at. It was 50 to 100 police cars, and they claimed that it was some kids that got into an altercation, they started fighting and shooting fireworks, and they had sticks. I've been living in Miami over 10 years. That sound like a six to 10 police car job, if that. There was a hundred police cars, y'all. So boom, I'm gonna get straight to it. I'm not with all that beating around the bush. They seen eight to 10 foot creatures walking down Biscayne Boulevard and walking on Bayside. They said they didn't have no hands. They didn't have no feet, but they was just like, they weren't aggressive. They weren't trying to hurt nobody. Kind of like, looked like they were lost. They were like, teleporting and coming back quickly and shape shifting like in and, and not in like a crack yeah I, it's crazy i can't even say not in a crazy way but in such a superior way said they weren't scared of us at all i don't know who you believe in what entity what higher power but you need to start believing in something miami because they here i don't know what they want they said people got to shooting at them and they weren't they weren't scared of police or nothing what they tell y'all why you think they, why you think they building bunkers? Bezos them building bunkers. And y'all sitting here not, oh, this is a conspiracy. Ain't nothing about this, no conspiracy. These is facts. They taking people's phones, deleting pictures. Look it up. You can't, you can't find it. You, you got to type in little certain things that don't got the keyword, like the yammy or up old, whatever that word is, three letters. Come on, man. Y'all get it together. I just had to come tell y'all it's real and this ain't no damn conspiracy. Get right with God now. So, came across this story on Twitter. This Twitter user is saying that they was actually at the mall at the time of this alien invasion. Now, before I even read their account, let me say, this is a conspiracy, okay? Sip or spit, period. Let's get into the story. I was at the Miami mall yesterday and the government is lying. There were no kids fighting. Everyone started panicking because these gray creatures were walking around. They didn't make any noises or sounds, but stared and watched you move. I tried to take a video, but every time, every time I would try to, it would just bug out. They set a parameter and wouldn't let anybody out or in unless they went through their photos. We were visited by aliens and the government is covering it up. They were about six to seven feet tall and walked very slowly. They could turn their heads around completely and it seemed like they could change forms, like they didn't have any bones and could bend their body in whatever way. No fingers, feet, just arms and legs. They could also seemingly teleport. They weren't walking around normally, but instead disappearing and then quickly reappearing somewhere else. This also allowed them to walk through some of the glass displays in the mall and through the walls. You couldn't escape if they wanted to keep. But they didn't seem aggressive, nor did they seem like they wanted to unalive anybody. It almost seemed like they were lost, but they also weren't scared of the army or the police that was all around. They must have felt like they were far superior. They grounded all flights for a period yesterday. They shut down police scanners in the Miami area for hours. It wasn't intentional. They had no choice. Whatever these creatures are interfered with electronics. Remember what I just said? This is just my thought, though. I ain't even read this story yet. Why is there no video of this fight they're talking about? This was posted earlier and I cannot verify its authenticity. All I can say is that it looks very similar to what I and others reportedly saw. No fingers or legs, anatomically consistent with a being that glides as opposed to steps. Here's another view of the photo or whatever it is. But remember I just said though, I think that they have technology that literally scrambles our devices because if y'all don't remember, y'all probably don't remember, but when I tell y'all I'm really a conspiracy theorist and I've been like this my whole life, um, I remember doing a lot of research on the red phone that's in the White House and allegedly Bluetooth technology was given to us by, anyway, that's another video for another day. So this was in the comments. A Twitter user said that they believe that it could potentially be some type of holographic images and the original twitter poster said this is absolutely a possibility they didn't appear ghostly in the conventional sense but they also contorted and moved in a way that would explain potential hologram theory now i also see a lot of comments where people are like this is a distraction this is a distraction but as a woman i could think about a lot of things at one time like not nothing is going to distract me from the other i promise you like i could think about this and also 50 other things at the exact same time so not the distraction. I don't care what y'all say. 
I, I, it don't even, I, I'm gonna let y'all speculate in the comments. My thoughts are my thoughts. Sip or spit.